Hey, welcome back everyone to Triker Art 79. This is uh, a brief catch up, a uh, short little video here. Uh, actually, it may be a little long. I went out for a track ride this morning and uh, went around the neighborhood. Uh, I just recorded the, the first little bit of it just because uh, I know the video would have been an hour long. So um, I about, recorded about the first eight minutes of the of the ride around the new development area that they're building in our neighborhood. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, but other than that, I wanted to go ahead and get started with today's video. Um, so today, uh, let's go ahead and start off with, with a funny joke, um, maybe a cheesy joke. This one's a cheesy one. Did you ever hear about the cheese factory that exploded in France? No? Oh. Well, there was nothing left but debris. Did it? Uh, B R I E Brie. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, let's uh, let's let's see what's going on in the land of Google. Okay, Google. Bark like a dog. This is a dog. <laughs> yes, it is a dog. Um, okay, Google. I'm feeling lucky. Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? I figured you'd show up here, so I brought some questions. How many are playing this time? Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> one more, one more. Let's see if I can get a funny one. I was, I was hoping for something, something cheesy. Um, okay, thanks for playing. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Google, can you rap? I can rhyme, and I even have an original poem I've been working on. An ode to search. I love to search. I cannot lie, I'll search at all. I am not shy, search for pictures. Search for pie. I search, I search. At least I try. <laughs> I, didn't, I was rhyming. Uh, I didn't feel, like, didn't feel like rapping, but I guess maybe rapping and rhyming are, uh, go hand in hand. Um, with that being said, uh, yes. Uh, so, went for a little, little bit of a ride this morning um it was about let's see, I'm looking at my health app on my, my watch here and it says um, exercise workout there we go um yeah what it was for about 68 minutes oh one hour and nine minutes um and total calories 220 calories on the, the bike ride. So just a just a brief drive riding on the, the, the neighborhood. Um, kind of use my Apple Watch in conjunction with the speedometer and looking at the time because I, I like to keep track of my pulse. Um, I, I mean, I wasn't really being strenuous. I was probably around 115, 120 from most of the bike ride or trike ride. And, um, and then finally made it home. So I think maybe it was roughly six, six and a half miles. Just just a real leisurely, slow stroll. Um, on the track, you can't really go that fast. So if you want to, like on a regular mountain bike, um, if you wanted to go to like, you know, start riding about 20 miles an hour, you just kick into a higher gear. And then it requires a little less effort, but then you go faster. Whereas this is a single gear device. And um, they have made improvements to the trek so that you can actually go farther with a less amount of effort, or less amount of effort, but it's harder to get started like on on slopes and any type of hill. So as long as it's flat, it's pretty easy to get going. Any type of hill, then you kind of want to kick that that assistance in a little bit just because it's it's the the, the trek's kind of heavy, especially today. I carried uh, I brought a special guest with me on the trek, um, and you'll get to see that in the video. Um, but anyways, uh, it was, rough. it was really, it was a great, great weather. I think it was about set, the average temperature on the ride was about 78 degrees. Um, I did do a little bit of off-roading, which you don't see in the video, but I was able to kind of ride behind the neighborhood where the, I was curious to do some exploring and it handled okay. It was a gravel road. Um, there was a little bit just plain dirt. 
no real big holes or bumps or anything like that, but it was able to kind of go through there and traverse the gravel road okay. Um, I didn't want to get too far down there. Um, the, the basket rattles some. It likes to kind of bounce up and down a little bit on the back, not the front one, um, but the back one definitely likes to kind of bounce. I, I, that made me even want to look at it when I got home. So when I got home, I went up underneath it and noticed there were just these four screws that hold the basket into the battery housing. And there's no like nut that holds the screw in, but because the basket is right above the screw, it basically can't go up, but it, it can't go down. So it, it doesn't feel really firmly secured. I might reach out to the manufacturer to see, hey, is there supposed to be a nut in here that I can just put in there and tighten down? Um, and I might, I might do that here later on this week. But uh, other than that, it's pretty smooth. Um, when I got home, I went ahead and attached this uh, with the trike. I got that flag, so I went ahead and attached the flag. I, they didn't um, include in the, so in the flag kit, there was a mounting hole it was like a mounting bracket, but there was no screws in the bracket to like mount it to like the basket or something like that. So I had to improvise and I used the reflector um, and I used the reflector screw, screwed that into the mounting bracket and it kind of, it kind of worked. So it, it looks okay. I don't know how long it'll hold that way, but we'll definitely give it a shot. And if I see that it's flimsy, I might use some zip ties or uh, figure out something else. But uh, other than that, uh, I hope you really enjoy the video. Um, just a little just a little track ride and a uh, big special guest that came on with me um on the track ride so hope you uh hope you enjoy and i appreciate you tuning in um but uh yeah in closing it's been real it's been fun it's been real fun uh again remember to be safe wear your helmet stop at stop signs change the oil on your car try not to speed you'll get there when you get there just leave a little earlier next time and it'll be okay. And, and be courteous to everyone. No exceptions. Give a friendly wave when passing others. It'll make them feel better about the world around them. Um, also say please and thank you. Manners, people, come on. Manners, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> get out get out there and enjoy some na nature. Uh, you know, be like me. Catch the sunrise as it's coming up and the sunset in the evening. Go visit a park. Help someone else. Uh, out if you can, especially in this time of uh, social distancing. Uh, you might need a favor of return one day. And most importantly, don't be too hard on yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone. Just learn from it and get better next time. Uh, and learn to laugh about learn, learn to laugh about those mistakes as well. Um, so thank you all for watching this video. Um, uh, again, I'm flattered and I'm honored that you decided to, to watch this long. But uh, I hope you enjoy the track video. Um, so. Adios, and see you next time. Here comes the video. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. It is my trusty man's best friend. This is Jax. He's coming on a trike ride with Triker Art 79. We are going out for a ride today on my Liberty trike. Gonna give it a little bit of throttle here, just so I can get my pedaling going. And um, we are underway on our trekking adventure. Where are we going today, Jax? Oh, we're being greeted by some dogs over here on the left. My dog's all kind, and at least now he's being a good boy. Um, but yeah, we are going out for a nice little stroll um, in the neighborhood, in the hood. So oh, let's see. Let's get this thing underway. Actually, I forgot some. I forgot one thing here. Let me uh, start my Apple Watch. There it goes. Three, two, one, and we are off on a trike ride. Um, it's funny the uh, Apple Watch does not have an option for triking, but. They have one for biking. I wonder why. I guess triking's not that popular. But, um, so even though I'm, like right now I'm pedaling. So as you can see, I'm kind of moving from side to side. I'm pedaling here. Uh, pedaling at a pretty decent clip. And she, knee, 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 knee. Um, sometimes I get in these little hills like this one here. I give it a little extra throttle. And just get up over the hill. And that helps me get to where I'm trying to go. And uh, I'm going to... The end of the road here where no man has gone before. Just kidding, I walk over here all the time. I used to walk back this way every day 
Now I kind of do it 50-50. I'll walk half the time and I'll use the trike the other half. Um, and I apologize in advance if it's a little too windy, if it's kind of hard to hear. Um, just, it is what it is. So I guess I'll just come down this way and uh, just exploring our new neighborhood. It looks like they're uh, doing quite a bit of development out here. You can tell that there's a lot of uh, rock and clay in the foundations in this area. These are all primarily rock and clay. No cars uh, have uh, yet to, to come out here. Um, puppy's just really enjoying the ride. He's just getting some fresh air. He's just enjoying the feel of the wind in his face. I can relate. I like that feeling too. So, which is kind of why I'm coming out here for a little ride. But uh, he just loves to get out of the house. He just loves for someone to spend some time with him. And I mean, I, he, they're just like humans. They they love attention. They love being talked to. Um, yeah, you can see over here where they're building this neighborhood that. Uh, that, uh, that there's all these different i guess these are i guess they're fossil layers or sediment layers you can see the rock the different layers of rock kind of it looks like um, little lines in the stone where there's the different layers same thing when they're digging into the side of this hill um it, it's, it's primarily um primarily clay and stone um so the foundations that are on and this is like what's under my house clay and stone so my hope is having a little bit more stone under the foundation, we won't have foundation issues because here in, in Texas, especially North Texas, there's a lot of clay, expansive soils that with rain, the clay expands and it moves the moves everything up. Whereas if it's dry, it creates holes in the clay and it, everything likes to sink like in, it falls in valleys. So um, my hope is, is that it's not too bad, that the expansive soils are not... Uh, too rough um like you can see even i get into this area so we're a little bit further down and the soil is turning like a black color so there's all sorts of different levels and types of uh dirt and clay and rock that are out here but anyways um so on to tracking so yesterday i went for a long track ride i actually it was on a zoom call and meeting while on the ride so i didn't film anything i was my camera was in use uh, on that call but um, with that being said, I uh, I really enjoyed it. I wrote, I actually put, I, I loaded the uh, the trike into the back of my my uh, little Honda Fit. It actually fits really well. I got to, all I have to do is remove the handlebars and the seat, and they have quick releases. So you just pop those quick releases and drop them in, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, after doing that, I uh, loaded it up in the back of the. Uh, the vehicle and uh it was pretty smooth sailing from there um for the most part uh, i uh, i was able to quickly load and um don't, don't get all restless jacks take it easy there take it easy take it easy turbo go ahead and sit down jacks jack sit all right he's not as long as we're not going too fast he's not hanging out too much we'll be all right uh anyways um <clears throat> But yeah, so the uh, oh, back to back to the ride. So went around through this park. The the nice thing about this little trike is that it fits all all uh, down all sorts of uh, little trails. Uh, it'll fit um, on a so on a walkway that has a uh, even if there's like a barrier for no ATVs or uh, no um, small vehicles, it this thing is like as wide just a little bit wider than the human beings this is about 20 22 to 24 inches wide about two feet wide i would think what the average human length is width is probably what about 16 inches maybe between 14 16 18 inches as far as like a cross so just a little bit bigger than a person but definitely easy to get in and out of the uh the biking and triking trails but um yeah for the most part kind of boring around here I mean you got, you got people working on homes you can hear them they're celebrating and cheering and whooping and yelling over there you hear them they're just having a good old time working on uh working on building homes and uh maybe even some of these guys built our home so uh, for the most part uh it's nice to see those uh, guys celebrating having fun 
Um, but yeah, so definitely we're glad to be triking, glad to be out and about, glad to be healthy. Don't have to worry about social distancing out here. At the park, there was probably about 80 people out there. So uh, quite a few, quite a few people. It was a little, I'm gonna crank up the speed here to number four, it's a pretty steep hill. Uh, so there's quite a few uh, people out and about on the, um, uh, all out at the lake. Uh, I, but the, the trail is, I'd say, okay, so you see how this road is and how wide this is. And there's like four parts. There's the, the, the squares on the right, squares in the center. So this middle square section that I'm centered in, it's about how wide the trail was. So if someone was walking, I would just kind of get to the side and there's plenty of room between me and whoever I'm passing uh, as I'm walking on those trails. Not like a standard sidewalk. It's probably about two and a half times of a standard sidewalk. But um, with that being said, yeah, it definitely was fun. I mean, I actually had someone stop and ask me along the way, oh, does that thing go by itself? And I gave him a little demo and end up uh, giving them one of my Liberty Trike uh, business cards that they give me. Now, uh, not that none of that comes back to me or anything like that, but I definitely handed one out. And uh, lady was uh, a little heavy set, but um, you can definitely tell she had some mobility issues and maybe it gets her out there a little bit more. And uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully it works out for her. Hopefully uh, she definitely seemed really enthusiastic and, and liked the uh, the sound of the uh, the trike itself. So she, I guess she saw me and she said, man, that's pretty cool. I, I, I could use something like that. But with that being said, um, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. It's probably, what, about 74, 78 degrees right now. Uh, a little on the warm side, but uh, definitely a nice day. So uh, I just wanted to wish you a happy Sunday, happy triking, happy getting outdoors a little bit, even in the pandemic. I definitely suggest getting outside, getting fresh air, taking the dog out, and, uh, and just enjoying life a little bit. So uh, this is TrikeArt79 signing out. Just wanted to make sure you subscribe, like the video if you, if you liked it, and uh, we'll just have it, keep it at that. Uh, have a great day, and uh, God bless you, and uh, see you on the next video.